Hey, and welcome back. I just got another package from the folks at Xvive, and if you followed my channel for some time, you might have seen a few other products I've reviewed of theirs. So let's dig in and see what we got here. So as you can see here, we've got a set of their U4 in-ear monitor wireless system. And this is actually great because I can give you a great review of this right now without even digging into this product. Let me show you why. So I actually bought this exact unit from X5 over two years ago, and I've been using them for live gigs ever since. When it comes to using in-ear monitors on live gigs, I think I was a little late to the party because I'm mostly playing local gigs where the volume isn't that loud, we don't have a sound engineer, and we don't have every instrument mic to create a high quality mix that you'd need in order to use in-ear monitors. Over the last few years, I've seen that trend change, so I invested in a set of high quality in-ear monitors for myself, along with a hardwired in-ear monitor pack to use on gigs. Now as a drummer, I didn't really deem it necessary to have a wireless transmitter since I'd be in a stationary position on stage the entire time. But after a few of those moments where I've walked off stage with my headphones still plugged in and have them yanked out of my head, I decided enough was enough and invested in a wireless transmitter. When I purchased this back in 2021, X5 was still a pretty unknown brand, but I saw some positive reviews online and at that price, I figured I'd at least give it a shot. And ever since I purchased these, I've been using them on gigs regularly and have never had an issue over the last two years. But in the spirit of this being an unboxing and review video, let's go ahead and open up this package and see what you get when you order a set for yourself. So first things first, we have a catalog of all the different products they offer and information about each one, but I don't think we need to get into that. And then of course we have the owner's manual with some different information about the functionality and how to get started with using these. So right here we have the receiver, or as I would call it, the body pack. And this is what you would plug into your headphones and attach to your belt loop or pocket in order to receive signal from your mixing board or audio source. So on the top here we have an eighth inch input to accept your in-ear monitors or headphones, and then a power switch to turn the unit on and off. And then on the front, we have a volume adjustment along with a switch here to adjust the frequency between six different settings so that you could have multiple of these going on stage all with their own different signals not crossing through the wireless stream. And then here we have the transmitter and this would plug directly into your mixing board or audio source. And on the front here we have a power switch along with an adjustment for aux or line level signals. And then of course the same adjustment for changing the frequency between the six different settings I mentioned before. Now getting into a few of the other accessories that come with this unit, we have a small carrying pouch, which is great, a USB cable with one side that you would plug into a power brick, and then it splits off into two mini USB ends so that you can plug into each the transmitter and the receiver and charge them both simultaneously with one cord. And then finally, we have an adapter so that if you do not have an XLR out from your mixing board, you can plug this in and then take a quarter inch signal. Now, since I've been using this product for a few years already, I feel like I'm qualified to give you a well-formed opinion with a lot of experience. So let's talk about the good. The number one thing I appreciate about this product is its metal construction. When you're out gigging in the real world, accidents happen. You're gonna drop your in-ears or someone's gonna step on them and these things can take abuse. As you can see from the unit I've been using for the last two years, they show almost no signs of wear, and I certainly haven't been totally careful with them at every moment. Another aspect I really appreciate about these is the simplicity of use. All you need to do is fire on each unit and make sure that your signal is set to the same number. In most cases, I use channel five because I'm working with other musicians who use this exact same product and I don't wanna have interference with the signal. But after that, you're pretty much set and ready to go for the rest of the gig. Although I've really enjoyed using this product over the last few years, there are a couple features that I haven't enjoyed and had to figure out solutions to overcome. The first deals with this carrying pouch. I found that when you put the transmitter and receiver inside of here, 
and put this in your backpack with your other cables and mics or in a box with other things you're taking. They have a tendency to turn the switches on and I'll show up to the gig after charging these and find out that I'm almost out of power. Now that's not so bad because I'll also take the charging cable with me and usually if I'm getting to a gig an hour ahead of time, I can just plug these in and let them charge up before I need to use them. But it's something I don't appreciate about this bag. Now my solution to that was to come up with a different way of storing these and bringing them to gigs myself. So I decided on using a small Pelican case and cut out some foam inserts that I can place each of these parts into. And this way the product never turns on when I don't want it to. Now X5 does offer a different case they've made for this that you can buy separately. And I did actually purchase it, but I found it to be very large and bulky to hold such a small unit. So I ended up returning it. The only other issue I've had with this product specifically deals with when I've tried to use it simultaneously with my P3 Bluetooth transmitter. On the P3, it doesn't have the same adjustment to switch frequencies, so I've found when I'm using that to play music through the mixer, and then also have my in-ears running through here, sometimes the signal will cross depending on what frequency I'm on, and my only solution is to switch the frequency on here and not on the Bluetooth receiver. And with other units of these flowing around for my band members, sometimes that's created an issue on stage. It's not a huge deal, and honestly, the scenario where I'd be using both the P3 and these at the same time is pretty minimal, so I'm not too worried about it, but just a factor you'd have to consider. Now you may be thinking to yourself, why would I personally need two of these units? And the answer for that is simple. One, I play in bands where we have more than one musician using in-ears on stage, so it's nice for me to have these available for someone else. But two, and one thing I really enjoy about this x Vive ecosystem, is that you can take one transmitter and set it to any channel on here, and then take two receivers and set both of them to the same channel. And now you can have one mix from your board sending to two different receivers. So say if you have two horn players in your band that share a mix, now they both can have their own body packs and be lined up to the same signal. This is really great for people who are in a situation where your mixing board has a limited number of outputs, but you still have a number of people hoping to use in-ear monitors. Two years ago, when I decided to purchase a wireless in-ear monitor system, I settled on the X5 mostly because of its price, hoping that the quality would at least meet my needs as a gigging musician locally. But after using these for the last couple years, I can assure you the quality is top notch and much more on par with products costing $800 to $1,000. I have nothing but great things to say about my communication with X5, and I've really enjoyed working with them and trying out some of the other products they offer. If you're looking to get into wireless in-ear monitoring, I'd highly recommend getting started with the U4 due to its price point and also its quality. If you have any experience using this unit, I'd love to hear about it, so leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on my future video releases. And until next time, thanks.